You want to get on the TikTok train, but you don't know how to start. You want to screen record your FL studio. You want to screen record your beats, but you can't get it to fit the aspect ratio on TikTok. I'm going to go through and show you quickly how to do both of those things. You'll need any kind of recording software. I'm going to be using OBS for this. And you'll need some kind of editing software so you can fix the aspect ratio in post. I'll be using Vegas, but you can pretty much follow with any other software. If you don't have Vegas or you don't have Premiere or any kind of editing software, there are free ones. I think DaVinci is free, DaVinci Resolve. There are a lot of ways to get uh, those editing softwares if you don't have them, um, those paid ones. I'm not gonna say how, but you know, you can get them if you look hard enough. But to start, you'll need OBS, of course, is the one I'm gonna be using, your recording software. That's what I'm using to record this right now. OBS allows you to record your screen with the beat playing. For those who don't know how to use this, I'm gonna quickly go through and show you the minimum settings you need so you can get your beat recorded. If you know how to use it, here's a time step on the screen. You can just skip forward. Now, OBS, when you open it up, is going to look like this. There won't be any sources, but the source tab is where you pretty much add your sources. So you'll need a display capture and an audio output capture. If you're trying to put your own voice in for some reason, I don't know how you'd incorporate that, but you can also add a mic. I'm doing so, you can go down here and hit this add button. It'll give you a list of sources you can choose. I'll do display capture here. Uh, create new you can name it whatever you can just call it screen if you want um, and then it'll show you capture method automatic your desktop or windows 10 i'll just keep it on automatic and uh, you can choose your display if you have more than one i only have one since i'm on a laptop so i'll choose that uh, once you do that you can hit ok and it'll show up here next thing you'll need is an audio output so you can choose that again go into the add and you can name this whatever you can just call this your desktop audio and you can hit ok this will ask you to choose your device, uh, which you can choose. This is my focus right here, so I'm just going to choose that and hit OK. And there you go. You got your two things. They'll be in this mixer area here, so you can just leave them default. No need to mess with those. And then finally, you'll need to set where your output is going. So when you record your MP4s, where are they going on your desktop, on your downloads, and your documents? Where are they going? So go to settings here, go to output, and uh, you go to recording here. I have a recording path to a folder on my D drive called Video Backup. This is grayed out right now since I am recording, but you'll choose browse and you can choose wherever you want to put it. Uh, make sure you set your recording format to MP4 and encoder to, if you have the NVIDIA GPU, you should set it to the NVIDIA NVENC. Other than that, you can copy these settings. You can just copy this down, pause it here. Uh, once you've done that, hit apply and then hit OK. And then it's as simple as hitting start recording. Mine says stop here since I am recording, but you'll hit start recording here and it'll just start recording your screen. Now, once your OBS has been set up, hit record and you can just play your beats. What I like to do is hit this arrow over here which scrolls with the beats uh, and you can just record a sample of wherever you want to record. Once you've recorded it, you can just hit stop recording. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to be using Vegas Pro. Uh, if you have Premiere or I don't know DaVinci Resolve or any other editing software, you can follow along the main concepts, but you'll have to find the explicit settings. Uh, there are the videos on the basic concepts. For Vegas users, what you're going to want to do is go up here to File and open a new file. Now, these are my output settings, but what you're going to want to do is set the width to 1080 and the height to 1920. My audio settings are here and uh, my video settings are here. And once you hit OK, you'll see that the preview has turned into a kind of a phone type format, which is what we want. Next, you'll want to pull out your video that you've recorded. I always just hit no for this because it's asking if you want to match your data to whatever is the video is, but we have our own set, so we can just hit no here. Now, this is my whole recording that I was just recording, but the beat section is over here. I'm going to cut this by hitting S. Once you have your video here, you'll see that the format is not working here. What you have to do is set the video's format to your project format. How you can do this is go to this little square here and it'll open up this menu. I'm going to drag this over here and make it a little smaller so you can see it side to side with the display here. Uh, you can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. What you want to do is go over to where it says width and height on the left side and flip them like we did in the beginning. So 1080 and switch the height to 1920. Once you've done this, you can see that this format box has turned into our TikTok 
format. But you'll see in the display, we're still out of frame. So what we have to do is make this a bit smaller. Just hold on these squares, hold control and just drag it in. And you can compare it to the display that this is working. And I'll just drag this over to the beginning and you'll see in the display, it fits perfectly. So I'll just X out of here. And if you play it, Now the final step is just to render it out. Highlight your entire thing by double clicking this gray space and go up here to render as. From here you can name it and uh, you'll need to create a render template. Now I have my own so I'll show you how to do it from scratch. Essentially you'll want to go to Magic's AVC here and I believe it's this internet HD 1080p and you'll hit customize template. From here it'll open up this menu similar to the one we had at the beginning but for the sake of simplicity I'm just going to show you my settings. So you can follow these, you can put them in. Um, the important part is make sure the width and height are still 1080 1920. Uh, if you can't change them make sure you change this to custom frame size. And uh, once you have all this uh, make sure you save the template because if you have to change it every time it's going to get kind of annoying. So name the template whatever, uh, I'll name it custom right. And then hit this save icon to get to it quickly go to filters and show favorites only and it'll have your custom these other ones are just for other kind of templates that i have but this custom talk is what you'll need and then you can just hit render and it'll render to wherever you've saved it in your in your computer wherever now i prefer to post it from the web app on my desktop so i don't have to transfer it to my phone but if you do want to transfer it to your phone i recommend just saving it to your dropbox and then downloading it on your phone and uh, yeah that's all there is to it, subscribe if this was helpful. If you see someone with a messed up format on TikTok, send them this video maybe, I don't know. Thank you for watching all the way through and I'll see you all in the next video.